Now let's learn how we can install Magic Texture plugin for Cinema 4. From Extensions menu, from the User Scripts, there is Run Script option, then choose the plugin file, which comes with the file you have downloaded. When you click on it, it opens the plugin. Magic Texture currently has three tabs. About tab shows, the current version, and type of the plugin. Also, there is a link to my Discord channel where you can request new features. Get access to the free update for people who bought the pro version. And also, report any bug you found. Magic Texture tab is the feature you probably bought the add on. It shows the active render engine. By default, Cinema is using Redshift as its render engine for new projects. But if you choose another render engine, it doesn't support like physical Corona. The buttons will be disabled and an error will be shown. Not supported means you're using the wrong render engine or have set the wrong render engine. Currently, Magic Texture supports only Redshift as in Octane. And third tab is called ArchWiz, which provides two cool features. Currently, import image as plane and floor creator, which gets a displacement texture you have for the floor and applies to a plane. I will add more features in upcoming versions for people who design interior scenes. Now let's learn how to use magic texture to create materials for Redshift Render Engine. We have a default scene. There's nothing special about the scene. There are just some lights and planes. Let's render the scene to see how it looks. From Magic Texture tab, we choose Import Redshift. Basically, you just need to select the folder you have for your texture and imports all textures automatically. Let's see what we have inside our texture folder. We have a displacement map, a roughness map, base color map, an ambient map, and normal map. We expect these texture get imported as a redshift material inside Cinema. As you can see, all texture have been imported successfully. The color space of normal texture is correct. It's connected to a bump node. Also, bump settings are correct for a normal texture. The color space of the roughness texture is raw, and it's connected to a ramp node for further adjustments. If you need, we also imported the ambient texture, and it's using a color layer to use it. The base color is connected to a color correction node, and it's connected to the color layer. Color layer then is connected to the base color of our texture. As you can see, we imported the textures and it automatically applied our new texture to selected object. Here it was the floor. Since we have a displacement texture, it also added a redshift object tag to the floor, and it enabled displacement and tessellation on it.
In this part, we learn to use magic texture to create octane materials. It works the same as Redshift. Just choose Octane as the active render engine for your project. An Octane button will be enabled. Then choose the folder of your texture. Then it creates a new Octane material and applies it to the selected object. Let's open the node editor and check if all textures have been imported successfully. As you can see, we imported the displacement texture, color space is correct, and type of texture is set to float. Magic Texture also added a displacement node, and displacement texture is connected to it. Normal texture settings are correct. Color space is set to non-color space, and type is set to normal. We also added roughness map, and it's connected to a gradient node, which you can use to adjust the roughness. Ambient texture is connected to a multiply node, and color texture is connected to a color correction node, and then it's connected to the multiply node. For furthering adjustment, I just added a transform and UV projection node and plug them to our image textures. As you can see, the texture worked perfectly. Let's learn to use the For Creator feature of Magic Texture. You basically need a displacement texture. So let's click on the button. It opens the File Manager, and you can choose your desired displacement texture. It creates a plane automatically with subdivision surface and displacer to apply your floor texture and create a realistic floor. You might need to increase the segments of the plane for a better look. As you can see, we created a realistic mesh for a floor which we can use in our 3D works. Last feature is image as plane. This feature is great when you want to add a backdrop to your scene. To do so, you must set render engine to octane or redshift and choose your desired image. Then it will create a vertical plane and assign the image as a texture to it.